Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about MLHP notification that is Mid-Level Health Providers Notification. This notification was uh, given by Government of Andhra Pradesh for the recruitment of uh, nurses as uh, Mid-Level Health Providers. So, the notification date is 4-4-2022. Before moving on to the notification details, if you are new to Science Easy Tech Channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the notification. So, as I have told earlier, 4-4-2022, the Government of Andhra Pradesh, Office of Mission Director, National Health Mission Andhra Pradesh has invited applications from the eligible candidates for filling up the post of mid-level healthcare providers in sub-center health and wellness centers. So, the details of the post number qualification and what is the process to apply what is the selection process everything they have given in the website hmfw.ap.gov.in and cfw.ap.nic.in from 6-4-2022 so the last date for application is 16-4-2022 so the last date is 16-4-2022 okay so this uh, notification so the details we will discuss so how what is the process how many posts are vacant what is the process of uh, applying and uh, for recent passed out students what is the uh, procedure for applying everything will be discussed detailly in this video so the government of Andhra Pradesh, so health, medical and family welfare department guidelines for recruitment of mid-level health providers 2022. So what is the name of the post? The name of the post is mid-level health provider. The number of posts is 4,775 posts. So here uh, zone 1 that is Visagapatnam, you have 974 posts. In uh, zone 2 Rajamundri you have 1446 posts and zone 3 in Guntur you have 967 posts and zone 4 Kadapa you have 1368 posts so the 4 zones you have so many posts so the total posts is 4775 the number of vacancies are tentative only it may increase or it may decrease depending on the uh, number of availability of seats or posts so the qualification so the candidate shall fulfill the following qualifications before applying for the post so the candidate must have completed bsc nursing from recognized university as registered in ap nursing council so the candidate should complete what bsc nursing program in a particular university which is recognized by andhra pradesh nursing council then he must he or she must have uh, studied certificate program for community health cpch and integrated certificate program in the bsc nursing this is mandatory requirement and no candidates will be considered in the absence of same see for the candidates who have passed this year that is uh, 2020-21 academic year so this year recently passed our students and last batch students okay last year students that is 2019-20 to 20 batch so they are eligible for this post why because in the certificate itself they have given uh, in community health nursing mark list itself they have given along with community health nursing they have completed this integrated uh, program that is mlhp program they have completed so that uh, will be given in the mark sheet itself for the batch which was uh, going to be uh, which was passed recently as well as in last year so for the batches before that they have to undergo a bridge training program so many students have represented indian nursing council for this so the indian nursing council has given the notification that uh, uh, by means of ignova indira gandhi national open university you can undergo a six months uh, bridge program in mlhp course so that if you are going to have that certificate you are eligible for applying for this post otherwise uh, the recent batch which was passed out uh, recently and uh, 
last year batch is eligible for this because since they are already included in the curriculum and they got uh, this uh, course certificate in their mark list also so the age limit is 35 years so must not have completed 35 years as on date of issue of notification so issue of notification is 44 no so they should not uh, cross 35 years uh, and for uh, bc sc st physically handicapped and ex servicemen a relaxation of 5 years has been given that is for all others it is 35 means for bc candidates uh, sc candidates st candidates and physically handicapped and ex servicemen uh, it is up to 40 years so the relaxation is given up to 40 years so here the method of appointment is purely on contract basis for a period of 1 year and will be renewed based on the performance and availability of funds so they used to tell that only for 1 year contract period they are taking and depending on the funds available in the government as well as based on your performance the contract can be extended every year it can be extended but uh, it is not it is what uh, you cannot have assurance but uh, even though it is contract basis based on your performance based on the need of the government uh, for the following post they can renew it so that's why they have given this condition method of appointment is purely on contract basis for a period of 1 year which can be renewed based on your performance as well as the need and availability of funds from the government next is selection criteria so very important is your selection criteria marks obtained in the bsc nursing course is the criteria for selection based on your marks only they are going to take so if you are going to have very good percentage and based on that percentage of marks in that particular uh, bsc nursing program you, uh, they are going to select a rule of reservation as per ap state and subordinate services rules and Uh, presidential orders governing the local status are applicable for selection so some reservation reserved quotas and all will be there no that is as per government policies uh, that uh, seats will be filled next uh, based the recruitment process is the regional director of medical and health services who is appointing authority so who is the appointing authority means the regional director of health and Uh, medical and health services is the appointing authority will conduct the recruitment process as per the guidelines of issue of appointment orders to the selected candidates so the committee with the following officers shall ensure that recruitment process is completed as per the guidelines and schedule so who and all comes under the committee are uh, committee members the selection committee members include director of public health and family welfare state program management manager nhm then uh, chief administrative officer nhm additional director mhn program officer hwc so director of public health and family welfare state program manager nhm chief administrative officer nhm additional director mhn and program officer hwc so the candidates sh shall submit the application form online only through website at hmfw.ap.gov.in or cfw.ap.nic.in no applications will be received physically all the applications submitted online will be issued acknowledgement so you have to keep that acknowledgement slip very safely okay so next uh, uh, the following shall be uploaded by the candidates along with the submission of application online so what are all the documents should be submitted uh, are passport size photograph ssc or equivalent examination that is 10th uh, certificate intermediate uh, that is intermediate or 10 plus 2 plus 2 examination certificate intermediate board certificate bsc nursing examination pass certificate marks memo of bsc nursing all years all years first year second year third year fourth year or sometimes you will be getting consolidated mark list uh, that you have to submit then certificate of permanent registration in andhra pradesh nursing and midwives council should be enclosed so here comes your doubt for the recently passed out students what is the procedure so 
in case of fresh pass outs undertaking shall be given that registration certificate will be submitted before issue of appointment order selected okay so what you can do you can uh, sub, you can write uh, you can given an undertaking that you are awaiting for your registration certificate and once you have been selected means that time on your appointment time the registration certificate can be produced at the time of your appointment because this doubt many of the recent passed out students are getting because uh, now only they are get, going to get their provisionals and uh, how they ha can apply and uh, if we are applying also how fast uh, they can receive because only a short duration of time is there so for that particular people only we are telling uh, recent past of students they can give an undertaking stating that uh, uh, the registration certificate will be submitted before issue of appointment order okay so during uh, selection time if they are selected means that time you can produce your registration certificate so that doubt has been cleared i hope so so copy of caste certificate that is community certificate in case of uh, sc st bc ews okay uh, issued by the revenue authority uh, like tahsildar mro um, rdo they have to sign it okay so this should be produced okay this caste certificate should be produced suppose if you are not producing the caste certificate it is understood that you belong to unreserved category that is oc other caste uh, uh, ca candidate okay study certificates for the years fourth to tenth class from where the candidate studied in case of non submission of study certificate candidate will be treated as non local so uh, since uh, if you have studied in government of uh, andhra pradesh so you can issue you can produce a study certificate for the years fourth to tenth class from where the candidate has studied uh, in case of non submission you will be treated as non local uh, students Uh, then copy of certificate for physically handicapped so i we have a uh, postings for special reservation for physically handicapped also no so that copy of certificate should be produced and even in case of ex service men also the copy of certificate should be produced then copy of certificate in support of any sports quota uh if applicable that also can be enclosed so that uh, you will be given some uh, additional marks in sports quota also the reservation will be there RDM and HS will scrutinize all the applications submitted online and publish the provisional merit list in the website cfw.ap.nic.in and hmfw.ap.gov.in so based on the merit uh, list so they will be publishing the results in the website what you have applied so the candidates can submit their objections if any to the respective rdm and hs through email so if you have any objections any queries you can uh, mail through email so every objection will be attended and final merit list shall be published in the website and uh, provisional selection list will be published in website for objections after attending the objection on provisional selection list final selection will be published so at every stage of recruitment sms will be sent to the candidates to give you a proper phone number okay so what you are using don't give your friends or relatives like that and all whatever you are using the genuine phone number should be given okay will be sent to the candidates on recruitment information counseling will be conducted for allocation of place of postings and posting order shall be issued to the selected mlhps so which is the nearest uh, site for you like that so they have given four zones now so based on that uh, uh, counseling will be given and uh, uh, you will be posted in their respective areas all the candidates who are selected an appointment as mlhp shall report to the place of posting within one week from the date of issue of appointment order so you have if you have been selected and if you have given counseling and where you have to uh, go and where you are posted so within one week you have to uh, give your reporting otherwise the post will be cancelled okay schedule for recruitment uh, date of notification 
6-4-2022 Start of Receipt of Application 7-4-2022 Last Date of Receipt of Application 16-4-2022 Date of Publication or Provisionals Merit List 24-2022 Last Date for Receipt of Objections on Provisional Merit List 16th you are applying then uh, Merit List uh, based on that uh, you will be given the thing uh, so that uh, list will be published on 24-2022 Last Date for Receipt of Objections suppose if you have any objections on that uh, provision list you can email I told no you can email it so that uh, last date for Receipt of Objections on Provisional Merit List that is 23-4-2022 2022 date of publication of final merit list and provisional selection list is 25-4-2022 last date of receipt of objection on provisional selection list 26-4-2022 date of application on final selection list 27-4-2022 date of counseling 28th to 30 April 2022 so by this month end itself you will know whether you have got your postings or not and uh, where you are going to get uh, posted everything so it is a golden opportunity for the passed out students who have completed MLHP program and for last year students and also students who have done MLHP bridge, bridge uh, gap program all the best for all of you Hope this video has given a clear uh, explanation about the postings uh, and uh, it has clarified all your doubts I have hoped so. So many students have asked doubts with regard to that uh, RNRM certificate so there is uh, time for you. So uh, within this short duration you may not be able to get but you can uh, given as they have told you can given an undertaking stating that uh, it will be produced uh, if you are selected okay that time if it will be produced so by that time you can have your payment acknowledgement uh, slip uh, that you have applied for rnrm like that and all even uh, the ap nursing council also uh, will consider uh, it and uh, they will also act very fastly in issuing the rnrm certificates for you people um hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and also i cards thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel